Welcome everyone to a brand new Let's Play. Today we are taking on Ratchet and Clank. This is the PS3 version of the game to the Ratchet and Clank HD collection. So this is a remastered PS2 version. This is not the PS4 version, which was a complete reboot of the series. Um, similar to this game, but I, I definitely consider the PlayStation 2 one far superior in every way. Um, well, except for graphics, but you know, that's to be expected. So you might have seen before I was actually doing a stream of this game. Now, sure. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, um, I was doing a stream of this before and I was uploading the streams, but I will continue my story after cutscene. <laughs> Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Okay, so here we go. We're actually playing the game now. So, starting off, I'm going to be skipping the help desk messages. Just for the plain reason, they kind of get annoying after a while. I'm actually going to disable them entirely. So yeah, um, I mentioned I was doing a stream previously of this game, and I was actually uploading those streams. The problem was I was having issues with quality, um, just for the plain reason that when I stream, I'm pretty much taking stream version recording it, and um, with that I have less control over the actual stream itself. So like, sometimes I bump into things, when well, not bump into things, but make a loud noise, you know, I move my controller and it hits the desk and makes a loud noise. So we couldn't edit those out, which was really annoying me and stuff like that. And not only that, this gives me the opportunity of doing a 100% run through. Now, my 100% version of this game is gonna be getting all gold bolts and all the skill points. And then it will show the rewards from such. I will not be getting all the trophies. Now the trophies, getting all the trophies is probably I believe pretty much doing 100% of the game pretty much gets you the trophy. I don't know because a lot of them line up with the actual skill points you can get in this game. But in the case that that's not the case, we will not be getting all the trophies. Yeah, first thing we want to make sure to do is break all these crates. Uh, if you haven't played a Ratchet and Clank game before, so pretty much your melee attack is via wrench, and um, bolts are actually kind of uh, the economy of this game, or currency of this game. 
So if you want to buy more weapons, you actually have to use bolts. And um, you can have a variety of weapons. It's not like a first person shooter where you can only have like two equipped. You can have like 12 weapons and switch between them, which is really fun. That's one of the main things about this game. They're just crazy weapons. Tons of fun. These. The bomb gloves, the first one you get, and we will be getting more throughout the game. I believe there's like around 15 weapons if we actually check the weapons menu. Uh, that's 6 times 3, 18. 18 different weapons in this game. Now we'll also be getting all the weapons so I can show them all off. To get all the weapons, you really need to do two run throughs of this game. Uh, they have, uh, in this game, there's actually a new game plus. It's pretty much after you finish the game, you can keep all your weapons. And uh, there's a few added benefits of uh, the new game plus. I can't remember the exact term they use, but there's quite a few benefits. So here we go. Interesting. You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of... My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Drek, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas, but of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Look, turn it off, you idiot! The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you could stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is V54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on! So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. 
Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. Okay, so now we are on Novalis. So the first kind of main level of this game. Minus Felden at the start there, but it's kind of more of a tutorial. I got some so this is Gadgetron, this is where you can actually get more weapons and you can also refill your ammo. For instance, we can buy more. Bomb glove ammo. So I'm not going to buy that. Um, it was 2,500 bolts for the next weapon. And there's three different ways we can go. So there's kind of three different missions. If we bring up the map, you can actually see two. But one of them is more like just to find some collectibles. Uh, so we're going to go down and uh, do this mission first. Heading down here and finding out what's happening. The crates with a G on them uh, give you ammo. The crates uh, they're kind of blue with this little thing that looks like an atom. Uh, that's nanotech. That's health upgrades, or not upgrades, but it heals you. The health system in this game is you have four health pieces, which you call nanotech, and you can get more to restore it, so. And that's, yeah, it's like in a glass crate. It's right there. That's a, that's an attack. Anyways, I'm, it's really good to kind of take your time and make sure to smash all the crates you can because, you know, you'll want to get these really cool weapons. Now, unfortunately, we can't get all the collectibles in a level at once. Uh, we typically need a particular weapon and or gadget uh, to help us with that. For instance, there's a gold bolt in there, but we're going to actually need a gadget we get later on to get in there, because the current's too strong. And actually, we can't go back there till much later in the game. We get the required gadget, like, uh, past the halfway point of the game. So yeah, there will be backtracking. Looking all safe and easy to travel, but no, gotta destroy it. And we can just go through here and say screw. Climbing down those stairs. You don't take fall damage in this game, actually. Wait, what's back? I've actually never been over here. Okay, it doesn't look like there's really anything. But hey, we got some more crates, so. That's where we would have came out from if I did properly. We actually have enough for the, the next weapon. I think the pyro something, something, something. There's a lot of enemies, like these smaller ones over here. These little, like, I don't know, kind of like bees. Lost bots, I don't know. That uh, we can easily take care of with the wrench, so we don't have to worry too much about that. So we just need to kill these three bots. There we go. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got.
Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargian snaggle beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? Ah. You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's quarktastic. Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. And actually, we should turn on subtitles. I always forget to do that. And unfortunately, it's not like a global setting in the game. You have to turn it on for each new save file. But yeah, so normally when you see a cutscene like that, uh, you get coordinates to go to another location. Usually via Infobots. These little robots with the screen on them. It's a cool little way of uh, seeing new levels, actually. Now, there is one skill point available in this level, but unfortunately we can't do anything about it. Um, what we're supposed to do is there's some ships passing by that we actually have to destroy. We don't have a weapon that can do that, so. But uh, let's get the pirate sitter. Pirate sitter? I don't know. It's a really good weapon, actually, for dealing with uh, masses, and it's also good on the final boss, so. I don't know. It's a good weapon. So, yeah, they're swimming. We got an oxygen meter, though, so. Have to be a bit careful. We got a little bolt crank over here. So we can just spin it around with a wrench. And we can open the door to get into the next part. I actually killed some of these fungi. I don't know if it's really killing them, but breaking them for the most part. Get a few bolts. We want to make sure we have, I believe, a thousand bolts. Oh, okay before we head into the next section. And you can also throw your wrench in this game, so... And the wrench is what actually pretty much attracts bolts and ammunition. So... If you break crates when throwing the bolts, generally they... When using the wrench, throwing the wrench, the bolts will go to you. And you do die if you don't have oxygen, like most games. Now be super careful. Now, in here, there is a gold bolt. You can see there's a crack in the swall, so we just throw our bomb left, and here's your first gold bolt. And a lot of times in gold bolt sections, you're actually going to find a lot of crates, so it's a good way of getting some more bolts. Luckily, this game does provide a lot of ammo, but there are going to be some times you're going to need to buy some. A difficult part about this game is that when you die, typically your ammo is still used up. So, yeah, that can actually lead to some problems. So if you're having a hard time with the section, you can really start running out of ammo. I don't know why the game functions like that, but... really can make things more difficult. Especially boss fights if you keep dying. Alrighty, so we finished that. The main thing there was just getting that gold bolts. And now for the next section. So after we enter, uh, it'll trigger a little scene where those rocks fall down, giving us a path. If you fall in the water, it's just going to send you back to the beginning. And here, it's not too hard, it's just mainly a platforming section. I'll actually switch to the power center. 
And, um, oh, yeah. I'm gonna be finding another gold bolt just in a moment. So, yeah, this game uh, actually has wall jumping. Thought so, something over there. But, yeah, you can jump on walls, or jump off walls, and you can use that to get up here where second gold bolt. Right on. So we got all the kind of special things uh, that we need for the meanwhile, so we just actually have to finish the level now. We'll be coming back to this planet soon, but... Or not really soon, but we will be coming back to it. And in this Let's Play, I'm probably going to have multiple parts. Uh, our playthroughs. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was planning on recording this all in one sitting. <laughs> no, um, it's going to be multiple playthroughs because I want to be show, able to show all the weapons and really you're not going to be able to get enough bolts to get all the weapons in your first playthrough. Not to mention, um, you can alter your weapons in a way. I'll discuss that later when we get into New Game Plus uh, using the gold bolts in, uh, well, New Game Plus. And this is not a good area to fall into. I think the current a bit. It's not too strong, but I think there is one little stream that if you actually fall into, you can't get out and you'll be headed right back to the start of the section, which really sucks. It. <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this goddarn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Oh, it's actually 500 bolts. I thought it was a thousand. Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Mayday, Mayday! This is the Solar Ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Well, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long, kid. Let's M scream! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. All right, so it's kind of awkward because <laughs> I just noticed that there was no subtitles during the uh, little part where we see the camera for Skid McMarks. It's actually really interesting how Apparently, there's not subtitles for everything, okay. I guess it's because it's like a recording. I don't know, they didn't want the subtitles there. I don't know. Either way, so we're done with so The next one we're gonna head to is Kirwan. And there's a particular order that probably makes a bit more sense to go by. But, um... We're probably going to be taking on Kirwan in the next part of the Ratchet & Clank Let's Play. So, see ya then.